blessed day everyone welcome to our devotion and as we go on with our devotion ito pong ating ginagamit is seeing the unseen uh, a daily dose of eternal perspective meaning uh, seeing what is heavenly seeing what is seeing what is spiritual investing in eternity investing in the kingdom of heaven in the kingdom of god we find ourselves looking at first chronicles 29:14 basahin ko po First Chronicles 29, 14 For all things come from you and of your own have we given you. Sabi sa ibang salin, everything comes from you and we have given you only what comes from your hand. Sa madaling sabi, ang lahat ng ating ipinibigay uh, sa Panginoong Diyos, sa Kanyang gawain, ay galing pa rin sa Kanya. I mean, wala tayong pwedeng ariin sa atin. And that is a beautiful, and the title of today's devotion is The Grace of Giving. It reads, Jesus Christ is the matchless giver. No matter how much we give, we can never outgive God. When God provides more money, sabi ni Randy Alcorn, we often think this is a blessing. Yes, but it would just be as scriptural to say this is a test. Ang ganda, no? Pag marami tayong pagapala, if God gives us plenty, abundance, do we usually say, oh, it's a blessing? Or maybe it's a test. Abundance isn't God's provision for me to live in luxury. God entrusts me with His money not to build my kingdom on earth, but to build His kingdom in heaven. And that is a beautiful and uh, very uh, thought-provoking, and very convicting uh, statement. Madali natin sabihin pag meron tayong Pagapala, especially financial, especially material. Oy, blessing ito. Pero, sabing ganun, uh, mas pareho lang din. It's uh, um, just the same for us to be thinking as well. Is this a test? I mean, is this given to me by God to see what I'll do for His kingdom? The act of giving is a vivid reminder that it's all about God, not about us. It's saying, I'm not the point. He is the point. He does not exist for me. I exist for Him. God's money has a higher purpose than my affluence. In Tamayo, giving affirms Christ's Lordship. It dethrones me and exalts Him. And again, friends, um, this is beautiful. Ang pagbibigay daw po, I, I, it affirms that, that we are not on the throne. God is. He is the Lord as we learn to give we grow closer to God but no matter how far we move on in the grace of giving Jesus Christ remains the matchless giver kahit God no kalaki ang ating kahit ibigay na sa biyaya ng Diyos we can never ever outgive God He is the matchless giver St. Corinthians 8 9 for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though He was rich He, he, he was rich He is rich he was the creator of the universe, but yet for your sakes, he became poor. He became flesh and dwelt among us so that you through his poverty might become rich. Sabi ng Biblia, in Christ, we are uh, blessed with every spiritual gifts, every spir spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. No matter how much we give, we can never outgive God. Hindi ito yung health and wealth uh, gospel, okay? God gives us in a thousand ways besides material prosperity, right? God can give you your time. Bakit ka mas maraming time ngayon? Maybe it's not a blessing. Maybe it's a test for you to use your uh, um, time wisely, right? Why were you given the gift of teaching, perhaps? Maybe... Yes, it is a blessing, but maybe it's a test as well. If you would use that for the kingdom of God. Right? So, we need to understand, friends, that um, as we live in the now, hoping for the then, as we live in the dot, living for the line, as we are in the world, though we are not of the world, we aspire and hope for eternity with God in heaven. As we are here, God blesses us with um, material blessings, 
in uh, time and skills but he also tests us as to what we will do with those gifts and so friends um, ang dalangin po ng puso ko ay makita sa atin makita sa atin na tayo talaga ay tunay na um, na, na mamuhay at nag aspire for eternity nag aspire like we're looking forward to uh, in, in gratitude for Him because He has secured our eternity we will be with Him forever we were saved uh, secured and sound well, we were forgiven and our sins are forgotten forever we will be with Him and while we're here uh, our time here on earth is oppor- is an opportunity our opportunities our time dito sa binigay sa atin ng Panginoos ay mga pagkakataon para papurihan siya right and on this note I'd like to appeal to your hearts I mean I seldom do this maybe this is the first time I'm gonna do this um, we have been praying for a little girl she's 12 years old her name is Tintin Lopez um, siguro naranigin na siya um, siguro na kagating siya sa, sa Facebook thread natin and she's uh, battling cancer uh, may cancer sa lungs meron din siya sa paa I think sa bone siguro yun and she needs to go through um, uh, chemotherapy hindi ko lang na 16 cycles siya tayo ng, oh, oh, maybe I'm wrong but she's on her fifth chemotherapy at alam natin na ma- malaking bagay yun. And so I'm appealing to your hearts, dear ones, that um, maybe God has blessed you with a lot, even in the pandemic. Or maybe God is testing you as to what you you do. Friends, uh, um, I pray that you would um, consider this. Be praying for this. Hindi namin kayo pinipili. But be praying for this and uh, just um, ask the Lord to um, allow you and, and encourage you and to drive you to glorify uh, Him as you give um, to, to this cause. Right? Sige po, let's pray. And, um, really praise the Lord for all of you. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you have given us this uh, beautiful devotion that we can never outgive you. You were the indescribable gift, Lord. You gave yourself for those who would believe in you so that we would not perish and we will have eternal life. And so, Lord, as we are living here, you have been blessing us, Lord. Yes, our eternity is secured. You have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies. Lahat ng inheritance na yun, Lord, secured po yun. But even now, Lord, in, in, in our lives, Lord, you have been blessing us with a lot. And so we pray na sana po tulungan nyo kami papurihan kayo uh, at luwalhatiin kayo sa mga pagkakataong ito. I pray that those who were given ample time would be uh, uh, blessing you and, and um, glorifying you by praying more for other people. And so Lord, talain po namin ngayon uh, si Tin Lopez, we pray that you be with her. Talain ko po ang ipong pagpapala sa kanya. Palakasin niyo po ako para ng pagtayin ng batang ito. We pray and we seek the Lord to just strengthen her body na kaya, makayanan po niya yung mga um, kailangan niyang i-go through sa murang edad po niya. And we also pray for Ruth and kanyang mom and the rest of the family, Lord, that you would just be with them as they too are being stretched and, and are um, uh, growing, Lord, in total dependence on you. So, dalangin po namin, Panginoon Diyos, ang pagkapala ninyo sa pamilyang ito. We pray for provision, Lord, for the chemotherapy of um, Tin. And we pray that you would be glorified, Lord, as um, we start praying, as we start giving, Lord, for this cause. Maraming salamat sa pangalan ng Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us. In, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, to those of you who can make it, tonight we will be having our in-person uh Midweek celebration, we'll be looking at Exodus 25, right? If you have registered and if you're willing, and we would be blessed by your presence. Sige po, maraming salamat sa inyo. I'll see you all tomorrow. God bless you.